Okay, buyers, we're talking to you today because when opportunity knocks, you've got to answer that door. We know what you're thinking. I'm not making a move until the Bank of Canada reduces those rates, and we hear you. You're right there with a big chunk of buyers who share that very same sentiment. And that's your problem right now. We say don't drink that Kool-Aid. You need a new strategy, and here's why. According to TREB President Jennifer Pierce, April listings were up by 47.2% compared to last year, which is crazy high. To put that number in perspective, in April of last year, new listings were down by 38.3%. It's like somebody flipped the inventory switch. Meanwhile, April 2024, sales were down by 5%, which isn't necessarily remarkable, right? Wrong. Other than full lockdown in 2020, April was actually the slowest month for sales we've seen in at least a decade, according to Better Dwelling. That supercharges your buying power. So now, TREB Chief Market Analyst Jason Mercer warns lower borrowing costs will prompt tighter market condition in the months to come, which will result in renewed price growth. A quick translation of that analyst speak is that the Bank of Canada's reduction will have the market swarming with buyers, draining inventory even with tons of listings out there right now. The result, higher prices. But if you act now, you'll get in before the massive demand pushing, pushes those housing prices up. As for those current rates, we say don't sweat it. Here's the new strategy we're talking about. Number one, get pre-approved for a variable mortgage now. Number two, get out there and enjoy shopping a nicely saturated market while prices are low. Number three, put in an offer while the negotiating's good. And number four, and here's the beauty of the plan, remember a variable mortgage means your rates will drop along with the Bank of Canada's policy rate. So you can lock into those lower interest rates before you've barely even made your first mortgage payment. Voila, interest rate fear factory, <laughs> interest rate fear factor result. And there's one more thing. GTA condo apartment prices edged lower to 693,754 in this year's first quarter. So if you're paying your landlord's mortgage right now, it's time to start paying your own if you can afford the down payment of about 45,000. That's not even close to the down payment on a house, which is about 300,000, yikes. And act before the rates drop and the rest of the first time buyer club enters the market and starts pressing those prices higher. Because as Mr. Mercer predicts, once first time buying activity increases with lower borrowing costs, you can bet your bottom down payment dollar that later this year, uh, lovely inventory is gonna sell fast and you guessed it, put upward pressure on selling prices, especially for freehold homes. As the Peloton commercial says, move. Still feeling a little unsteady on your feet? We're here to help you make the right decision. Bye for now.